So what are the next big projects or big movements coming in the crypto market? And how do we get into them? You might have seen Polygon Matic pump through the roof this week and thinking, I wish I'd have got in that early. And this is a question that a lot of people to ask. How do we see these projects and how do we get in them early? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about two of the biggest projects that I think are going to start taking off once they find their fundamentals and they get stuff put in on launching on their platform. Now, we all know that if you get in there early, there's massive gains to be made, but we need tangibility and we need information of why we should get on these projects. Well, my name is Christian from Crypto Ripto, and today I'm going to tell you why these two altcoin gems are going to be massive once they start pumping. So if that sounds like an interest to you, stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Well, hello everyone. Before we dive into today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell button so you keep up to date and you can hear me waffle on and bore you even more. Look at you. Anyway, let's move straight into Cardano season. Now, we're a big fan of Cardano on this channel. A lot of people are talking about Cardano in the market. Is ADA going to pump? Why is it so boring? What's been happening with Cardano? Well, Cardano is one of them coins that it's had good marketing. It's got really good potential. It looks like it's in the mist ready to pump, but it has been lagging sort of behind some of the altcoins that have been in the space, been pumping. You look at the ones above it, for, for instance, like BNB, etc. They're all doing really well, and Cardano seems to be sort of, sort of steadily cruising, waiting for it its chance to get on the launch pad and take off. Now, why am I bullish on Cardano? Well, it's got a lot of stuff coming up. It's got a lot of the stable coins, the market NFTs. It's got OCamFi, which is, to me, is gonna be one of the top smart contracts that's launching on there. Um, it's very, really early in its stages, but I still think Cardano is very much in its foundation stage of investing. Now, obviously we're not at the point where we're digging the trenches, but we've laid the foundations and Cardano's not not even begun to build what cool kind of ecosystem project or whatever it is it's gonna be on there. When it has its borrowing and lending platforms on there, if Cardano sticks to its roadmap, produces what it's gonna produce, which I believe that's why I say starting in August, so that's why is Cardano not gonna pump till August? I personally believe it's going to it's about ready to take off and we're going to see movements in Cardano a lot before August but that means should you invest now for me absolutely Cardano is one of the sort of you know the ones that have under undervalued underperformed but it's prime prime for that last sort of foundation investment before things start really hitting now i see cardano personally as a five dollar coin i mean i might be a bit biased because i'm a big cardano fan i'm relatively early investor wasn't digging the trenches on this one myself but sort of got in investing quite early but that's why i do see good movement in cardano so jumping into the cardano chart here we can see it's relatively flat from what it's been doing i mean it's it's sort of been hanging around these kind of mid levels for for a little while now you see it it, it rose to something not obviously it's at 135 now it rose to something not great a lot 140 dropped down to around the one 129 mark and slowly sort of progressing up but for me obviously that might have been a little bit to do with the news of cardano africa which to me wasn't really that significant um i mean was you bullish about the the cardano africa news to me i don't really really know what a lot of it was about but that that's just me but as you can see here it's not really taken off i mean the last 14 days it's down 7.6 percent um but that's because obviously what what happened with the crash where everything went down and its recovery stage was very relatively slow you know cardano's not really been moving that high it's been sort of like the low double digit greens and it always has a red kind of day in the last 24 hours or the last hour it very rarely wears green on both but that being said that means to me it is absolutely still a good foundation buying opportunity and this is why i'm quite bullish on cardano so with 
all that I know is coming to Cardano with the likes of the smart chain projects that are coming on there and the NFT markets, like I say, um, and the, the borrowing and lending of these like and the stable coins. I, that's why I think Cardano is really going to see some great movement over this, what I see ready to come up into the altcoin season. We had a sort of a pre-altcoin season, but then we had that massive crash where, I don't know, it, the, the game got cancelled early, but... I don't know, share your thoughts with me. Do you think Cardano's ready to pump and it's going to be before August or after August? Do you think it's still a good foundation investment? Leave your comments below or message me, message me on YouTube, Instagram, um, Twitter, or whatever it is, platform you like to use. And we'll cover it a little bit more because I still think Cardano is going to be one of them good ones to watch and it's got a lot more movement and a lot more sort of meat meat ready to be put on the bones once this launches it's going to start going parabotic in my opinion so the next altcoin the next altcoin we're going to look at is elrond now elrond 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 i'm a massive fan and i'm very bullish on elrond just for the fact of the matter is i think it's a great project that's got a lot of room to run i've invested in elrond sort of from early January all the way through, filling up on the dips as much as I can because I think it's a great project that's already already got a lot of stuff on their platform. They've they've got a lot of stuff going on. It's a sharded blockchain that people know about. People already know it's doing great things. There's a massive lot of institutional kind of smart money being invested in Elrond. They've got some big sort of projects coming up. They've got some big money coming into it. Um, it does a lot of sort of like new project launches that are tangible in my my opinion. Um, they've got a lot of, you know, legs, meat to the bones. They're not Ponzi schemes and not anything that's going to be kind of rug pulled. And one of them big projects that Elrond's got coming up is the Meyer Exchange. Now, you can, we won't go too much about the Meyer Exchange in this video, but if you can look it up of what's coming up on Elrond and you look at the Meyer Exchange, you'll see that it's gonna be a massive project. And I think it'll really boost Elrond's potential to have a lot of growth in it. Now, that being said, where do we see Elrond coming in? Now, we can see here from from sort of like the, the chart that the Elrond has had a bit of a, bit of a tank in the last two weeks as, as, every, as every coin has, but it's, gradually gradually making sort of its its way back but it's a steady it's a steady climb it's done absolutely nothing in the last 24 hours it's sort of climbing in the last hour but this is a good opportunity you know when these coins are low or these coins have not pumped um and one of the major reasons that the elrond is really good because it has the bitcoin some kind of scarcity you see here it's just over 20 million in circuit in circulating supply um in sorry in max supply and the circulating supply is like 17 million which which is which is very relatively small it's it's kind of like bitcoin the market cap is not too crazy considering the scalability of this project so this is why i think elrond's got a lot of a lot of legs in it and i think it's going to run for a long time i mean it's not really one of them that you will earn money on quick. It's not like a, a FOMO dodge coin or it's not like a, it's been pumping hard like we've seen the Matics and um, Engine when it had that run prior to the, ca the crash, etc, etc. But it is, in my opinion, a good long-term project. It's undervalued at the moment. It's a hidden gem. The, the market cap is still relatively low for this project, I think. The circulating supply of of coins is very scarce mix all them together i think it makes the ingredients for a great investment and a great coin so that's why i'm quite bullish on elrond we see so many coins come to us as new as new people new investors in crypto and it's like oh what do i invest in what's going to be the next big pump do i take profits out of this how do i get in how do i get out elrond's not one of them coins in my opinion it's more of a coin that it's i think it's just ranked in the top 50 um, but it's in my opinion it's one of them that you sort of can hold enjoy a pump through the altcoin season taking a little bit of profits as you as you do dollar cost average or while the while the coins are pumping and you'll see a good return on elrond i'll be very surprised anyone in, is it already invested or invest now in elrond does not see a good return in this 
Again, not financial advice, but this is definitely what I'm doing, and I'm big a big Elrond sort of investor, and I've got a lot in my portfolio. So, covering Cardano, we think it's going to pump because of obviously the news that's coming out. Everything in August, when every as long as they stick to the time frames, everything's coming on there, and the charts are saying it looks like it's ready for a pump. Elrond already a great project, a lot of stuff on there. It's got a lot of shard behind it, you know, the minimal supply. It already has a lot on the chain. Therefore, I think it's got legs to run. So now, if you stay to the end, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, whatever it is you want to do to stay updated or just come across by chance, whatever it is. I really appreciate your time anyway. But we're looking for that bonus. So let's move on to the bonus coin that we, that if you've stayed to the end, I really appreciate that we're going to talk about. Because um, obviously we did say we're going to do two coins, but we'll shoot into this bonus one. Now, it's something we've talked about on the channel, but I've been watching this coin since launch day, where if you were lucky enough to get on on launch day, you would have made a lot of money. It did come down and start balancing sort of mid levels of 1.6, drop down to like below a dollar. Now it's back up to like 1.2. And that's AIOZ network. Now, AIOZ to me is going to be a great, great project if this gets off the ground running, um, which I think it will. Now, for those that don't know, AIOZ is going to be sort of like the streaming service kind of for like the Netflix of blockchain, so to speak. And we all know that anything in this modern day and age that deals with the kind of level to streaming service and stuff that's integrated in anything that's going to be bringing in the big movie names or maybe even you know cut down sort of buffering times internet connectivity issues AIOZ is going to be one of them networks now it's in its very early stages the coin's not been launched that long and it is doing relatively well um, but I still think AIOZ is very, very, very low valued at the moment. I mean, when this coin launched, it went all the way up. It dropped back down to about a dollar, a dollar, a dollar twelve, then went back up to like two dollars. And then before that big crash happened, it was sitting nicely around the 1.6 to two dollars mark. It was floating in that channel. Then the crash happens and it's grow gradually gradually starting to recover as we can see here from the crash it was it rose in the seven days 21.2 percent then in the last hours nearly 10 percent um it's had a steady steady comeback and a lot better than a lot of the coins that in this corner kind of low area kind of low value it's still for me got a very relatively low market cap we're looking at 66 million so can you imagine the kind of market cap for this coin being that low for it to do like what a 10x from here it, it's not got that much investment to be pumping into it now i don't see a 10x in the immediate short term in this next bull cycle i, I definitely think it's going to nearly 5x from here i think this is going to be a five dollar coin for sure and once this this project starts meeting up i think this is definitely going to be one that you want to hold in your portfolio now with it being so no it's not got any proven methods on there at the moment it's got nothing to sort of come back and say um it's it's done this it's done that but it has got the attention of a lot of smart money people now i do a lot of investments with a lot of people in europe um with what they are looking at to invest their smart money in i've been an investor like 10 years and aioz has had a lot of kind of I wouldn't say hype, but a lot of interest around this from the smart investors. Now they're saying they're big into the streaming index. You think of when Netflix first started, no one thought that would take off. They started sending DVDs out. Blockbuster thought it would take over. Done some silly mistakes, as we all know. Blockbuster missed the ball. Netflix took over and it's just gone from strength to strength, whether it be streaming movies, Netflix, you see the streaming things from music, things like Spotify, who have got enough money now to try and buy a football club in the UK. You know, you see projects like this just literally exploding once they get the marketing, once they get the knowledge and once they get their services and products right, 
there's no end to where these kind of projects go. So if you're an early investor now, which I think this is very, very low. I mean, a lot of people were buying into this coin. We're seeing anything from $1.6 as a good buying point. No one envisioned the big crash that happened last week. But before that, 1.6, you was really looking to get into at this AIOZ coin. Now it's down at what I call an absolute bargain at 1.24. For me, it's still a foundation investment coin. I am absolutely bullish on AIOZ. I even swapped a lot of my BNB coin um, on Pancake Swap for AIOZ to buy in more on the dip because I think this has quicker potential in the short term than than Binance does. Um, but that's just my opinion. But it, as a bonus on this channel, I really think AIOZ is one you want to sort of fill your bags up. If not, just put a little bit of your your sort of profits in there because it's still an early coin it's still very very infant in in its sort of growing stage so 1.24 dollars for me is an absolute bargain so if you want a bargain you want to try and get into these coins that have still got a good 5 to 10x in them um with very really little risk because even with a crash this only went down to one dollars um sort of just below one dollar i can't see what the all-time low was off the top of my head but i know looking at it from my portfolio it's down just below a dollar so 24 cents to where it was at its all-time low is not that far compared to where we're looking at this as a five dollar coin so it's a lot a lot closer to you buying in at the bottom of this coin than it is to where we're going to see the top of this coin when it grows so for me that's why aioz is an absolute cognitive coin at this moment in time so that being said that brings us to sort of like today's rundown wrap we've covered cardano where we think it's going to sort of blow up um in its stage maybe august but now just before august it all depends on how well bitcoin does in my opinion elrond we know is a good long-term hold project it's one of them that's going to steadily steadily make your gains it's not a quick in and out as some people like excuse the pun and the bonus coin of aioz which we've got on here which in my opinion is very undervalued still in its infant stages of investing and for me it's going to be sort of one of the top coins that sort of grows and grows and helps your portfolio reach them skyrocketing high returns to investment that we're all looking for so that brings us to the end of today's rundown i'm christian from crypto ripto don't forget to like subscribe sort of hit that bell button i'll still keep bringing you waffle boy news the channel's very relatively early stages but the information that i'm bringing is very very sort of well informed well researched so you don't have to sit back cup of tea 20 minutes of crypto ripto and you're up to date with majority of today's news until then have a great day